Hello all, my name is Chad and I am the guitarist and vocalist for the band Beneath Vultures. This channel is pretty much dedicated to all of my music nonsense here. I do a lot of home recording, tech reviews, demos, things like that, and I also just spend a lot of time geeking out to music equipment. So if you like that kind of stuff, feel free to subscribe and let's get to the video. Probably get this out of the way first. This is going to be a very weird video to start with after I've been on hiatus from YouTube for oh, probably about two years or so. But this is a video that I've had in my queue for a long time and I really want to get it out because I'm guessing that the secondhand market for the positive grid bias rack uh, powered unit is probably firing up or fired up uh, right now and I want to make sure that everyone is aware of the potential problems that you can have based on the version that you get. Looking back at my situation, I actually was probably one of the early adopters of the bias rack, even though I didn't get it right when it came out. But I think the unit that I got particularly might have been one of the earlier models. After about nine months, maybe a year, I don't know, I started to get some hiss though in the amp. After doing a lot of research and due diligence, I had just come to the conclusion that there must be something wrong with the head. So I got a hold of Positive Grid. Long story short, we ended up in the situation where they said, okay, yeah, you can go ahead and send it back. But in order to do this, you have to pay shipping and you have to send it to our United States based tech. And he's gonna review it and see if it's actually broken. And while I was absolutely annoyed by the idea of having to send this to someone to review it to possibly get you know, denied at my cost, I went ahead and did it because I didn't have a lot of choice. And eventually I got word back from the tech who is actually a really knowledgeable guy and was a real straight shooter. He was sort of like a disinterested third party. He told me that the rack was, there was a board on it that was fried and this was becoming a more common thing that he's seeing with these units. So after going back and forth with the tech and with Positive Grid, they finally agreed to go ahead and allow me to exchange it. So they sent me a new version of the rack. I plugged it in and sure enough, I'm having the hiss again. Actually, I think it might have even not had any volume. It might have been a worse situation. But regardless, it was broken. And I immediately got a hold of them and my tone obviously shifted to more like, what the hell? They sent me yet another new model I suspect this is from a newer batch of them. So, hopefully this one works. This model did work. So after everything was said and done, I had three different bias racks. That says a lot right there. Well, it's quiet. That's why it doesn't work, Dad. You knocked on it. <laughs> The reality of the situation is that I was not the only person experiencing this, although it wasn't a rampant issue, but it was a known issue. So this video is really for anyone that is either interested in the rack or already owns one, because if you own one already and haven't had any issues, it's possible that you might develop this over time and you need to know how to address it. If you have already started to experience this problem, it's important to know that you know this is a warranty based issue and you can actually reach out to Positive Grid and get it resolved. Uh, lastly, if you're in the market for one of these and you're looking on the used market, the earlier gen I suspect is the one that has these issues. If you're trying to purchase one and you can find the manufacturing date, you might be able to sidestep this issue completely if you just try to get a newer model. I don't know what information is publicly available, so I don't want to drop everything in the description of the video, but if you happen to be one of the unlucky people that has to deal with this situation where there's hissing or the amp just doesn't work for whatever reason, feel free to get a hold of me, uh, drop me a DM, Leave a comment below and I'll be happy to forward on some contact information to you privately uh, for Positive Grid and also for the tech that I worked with just in case Positive Grid for what, whatever reason either can't or won't help you in the situation. I know that this is a really niche topic and only a few of you are probably going to be able to really benefit from this information but for those few I think it can be really valuable. If you've got any questions about this 
you know, particular unit, the positive grid bias rack, I'm happy to answer them where I can. Um, if you've got questions about what I replaced it with back here, I actually have a full series on how I built all of that. Other than that, subscribe, leave your comments below, all that stuff. Take care.